Hello, my name is Clara Torres Barceló. And I'm Michael Hockberg. And we work at the Institute of Evolutionary Sciences of the CNRS at the University of Montpellier. We are going to present our article called Evolutionary Rational for Phages as Complements of Antibiotics that has been published in Trends in Microbiology in January 2016. So antibiotic resistance is, is a big problem and a growing problem. Not only are more and more bacteria resistant to antibiotic treatments, but antibiotic discovery is decreasing. This has led to a situation where bacteria are increasingly difficult to treat with antibiotics. We need to find alternatives to these molecules. So the basis of our study is to the urgent need to find new alternatives uh, to treat these infectious diseases. And one of the most promising alternatives is the use of bacteriophages. So phage therapy and the use of phages has many advantages. And for example, phages are very specific viruses that will only attack the pathogenic bacteria. Also, they are very abundant and diverse, so you can always find new phages. They have the capacity to evolve. So even if bacteria become resistant to phages, phages can also uh, evolve uh, the capacity to infect these resistant bacteria. There are some problems related to phage therapy, some limitations, and we talk about that in our paper. But we think this is one of the most promising alternatives. So it's possible in many cases that phages are an effective alternative to antibiotics, but in others they're not. What we propose in our article is that actually combining the two, phage antibiotic combinations could be effective or more effective than either agent used separately. This idea that the combination of phages and antibiotics could be more effective than either agent is supported by the examples that we produce in this table. So a combination therapy using phages and antibiotics is not only more efficient at reducing the population of bacteria, but at limiting the appearance of resistant variants. So what's the evolutionary rationale behind this combination therapy? That's what we describe in our uh, opinion paper. And we uh, talk about three non mutual exclusive hypotheses that we illustrate with a figure. The leftmost panel shows the problem that antibiotics present, that is the selection of resistant bacterial strains. First, double resistant bacteria may pay high costs and thus be impaired in the growth rate or virulence. These are the purple bacteria in the figure and their low fitness prevents them from rapid growth. A second potential effect of combined treatment is that the mechanisms of resistance to phage and to antibiotics are incompatible. This is illustrated in this panel where the double resistant purple bacteria either cannot persist on their own or if they do are easily eliminated by the antimicrobial agents. And a third potential situation in combined therapy is the sequential application of phages and antibiotics. In the small populations remaining after the first antimicrobial agent is introduced, bacteria resistant to only one agent are eliminated by the other. Another way in which combination therapies can be effective is through the PAS effect, the phage antibiotic synergy effect, whereby antibiotics can stimulate the production of phages by bacterial cells. And this is true for uh, old or new antibiotics. In conclusion, we argue that increased attention should be given to phage antibiotic combinations. This is part of the same evolutionary rationale that has led to success in treatments against HIV, plasmodium, and certain cancers. We need to employ evolutionary rational approaches so that we can avoid making the same mistakes as we have in the past with the rampant use of antibiotics.